to start by dealing a humiliating rebuke to the radical left in this election. This is so important, this election. J.D. Vance. Former President Donald Trump selected Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as his running mate for the 2024 presidential contest. The 39-year-old Ohio Senator, a baptized Catholic, a U.S. Marine veteran, a Yale graduate in law and bestseller author, is all set to be the vice president for Donald Trump if he comes to power. Vance's selection injected new energy into a campaign that has centered in recent years on questions of age. Both presidential candidates being 75 plus, a 40 under young Republican raised in a humble background in Ohio with a Hindu wife from Indian origin was the right move for the Trump camp. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for us to determine our nominee for the office of Vice President of the United States, Senator J.D. Vance. But in 2016, J.D. Vance did not support Donald Trump. The lawyer-turned-venture capitalist-turned-politician in 2016 did not vote for Trump and called him Hitler and declared himself as a never-a-Trump guy. But then he changed course two years later, around the time he was baptized and became a Catholic. His 2016 bestseller memoir, Hillbilly Elegy, has often been described as a window into rural, off-forgotten America that fueled Donald Trump's rise. It was adapted into a film directed by Ron Howard four years after it was first published. Well, I'd say, first of all, it's not a, uh, an unsurprising pick. Uh, Vance has been one of the top names that have been talked about for many weeks now. Uh, he's an interesting guy. He's a senator and recently been elected senator. Uh, and I think the thing that's critical for Vance, the thing that uh, makes him attractive to Trump and to Republicans is that he's got a real blue collar background. He, and even though he is a, a Yale trained lawyer, an Ivy League lawyer, uh, he has uh, maintained this kind of credibility and, and, and ties to that more rural parts of America. J.D. Vance met Usha in his Yale days. That is when he grew close to another Yale graduate Republican of Indian origin. Vivek Ramaswamy. The three are close friends and Vance credits his wife for inspiring him to find his true faith in Catholicism four years after his marriage. A litigator at a national firm, Usha Chilikuri is the daughter of Indian immigrants and has an impressive academic background. Together they have three children and one of them is named Vivek inspired by their friend Ramaswamy who withdrew from presidential race in January endorsing Trump. Well, I think his background is really compelling. Um, the, the, the fact that, you know, a hard pull up from your bootstraps kind of life, uh, a mother who was addicted to drugs. He wrote about it, a book that really affected many people in the country of what was happening in Appalachia. Uh, I think also that he served his country. You know, he as a Marine, I think that's compelling as well. He had a uh, a success, short-term success in business. He's a lawyer, married to an Indian American, three, you know, children. He has built, you know, a life, an American life that I think Donald Trump clearly respects. J.D. Vance as the running mate is also likely to play out well in the Silicon Valley, where Trump is looking for financial backing for the campaign. The billionaire former CEO of PayPal, Peter Thiel, is one of Vance's biggest donors. And this selection also means that two white men will now lead the Republican ticket as Trump seeks to make inroads into other demographics, like the Asian Indian diaspora where Usha plays a significant role. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.